All right, guys. So it is getting that time. It is the end of the year, and it is getting time to harvest all the peppers that I've been growing throughout the course of the year. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you how the plants are looking now, and um, you know we'll see we'll see how many I get. I'm going to separate each one and show you at the end, you know, roughly uh, how much I got off each one of the plants or each one of the varieties, rather. Um, but we'll see uh, see how it turns out. All right, guys. So um, this is the mini garden. Uh, this is what had the cucumbers, shishitos, uh, habanero, and a Carolina Reaper with two jalapeno plants. She's looking a little worse for wear, uh, but like I said, it's getting to the end of the season here. So we got leaves all over the place. And uh, as you can see, um, we've got we've got um, some of the the jalapenos here and these are the shishitos shishito plant looks um, pretty pretty horrible um, I've used and abused this plant very very much so as you can see there's like next to no peppers left on it maybe one two two actual peppers that I could probably harvest off that so I'm probably not even going to include this one in the video but I did want to go show you guys uh, you know what's going on as far as <laughs> how that one looks at the end of the season like I said I've been eating the hell out of those peppers um, the habaneros um, I'm probably not going to be harvesting too too many off this plant here um, again same thing this one uh, you know, fully got mature quite a bit earlier than my other habanero plant, so um, I'm going to be harvesting the other one, and these ones are just going to go into the soil and probably be recycled uh, for next year. But these, all these jalapenos in here, and all of the jalapenos in here, and all over the place, um, I'm going to be harvesting these. So we will, uh, this Carolina Reaper over here, this one had, you know, a, a couple little tiny baby pods, but not too, too much going on with that. So same thing, um, this, this mini garden here, after I have been eating out of it, uh, the only thing that's really left is the jalapenos. So. Um, I'm gonna pluck those and we'll see see how many we get off that This is the uh, the habanero um, As you can see this one here has quite a bit of uh, Fruits on it here uh, pods just everywhere So this is the habanero that I'm going to be harvesting right now and I mean, look, they look really good. These are yellow habaneros, by the way. So, uh, yes, they are supposed to be a light pale shade of yellowish green. These are not orange habaneros. But uh, leaves are drooping. It's looking sad, like she's about ready to die. And I don't want to lose all of these pepper pods to the frost that's coming tonight. So, we will see in a second. And these are the two... Carolina Reapers. Um, I took them inside. I'm gonna try and keep these guys going a little bit longer. Not 100% sure if that's gonna work because if you can see, leaves look like they are about ready to die. So that's kind of sad. I'm gonna do my best to keep them going, but for at least right now, what I'm gonna do is grab all of these pods, every last one of those pods, off of these peppers here, or off of these plants rather. Uh, that way, if they're going to live, they can start creating some new pods, but I doubt it. So either way, I'm going to take all these off, and then I will show you at the end what I got off each one of the plants. Alright, so this is the final outcome. This is four months or so, give or take, a little bit, um, of work. So as you can see, I mean, got quite a bit. I mean, a big mother freaking bowl of each one of the varieties of peppers. Um, 
These are jalapenos, obviously. They came out really, really nice. No complaints there. The uh, yellow habaneros. Got quite a few of those too. And last but not least, unfortunately they didn't get ripe and turn red. But I can tell you right now, these things will still melt your face. So these are uh, the Carolina Reapers from, uh, from what I can see and what I understand. But um, yeah, love these peppers. So like I said, this is the uh, season finale of growing semi-hots to the world's hottest pepper. So leave a comment and uh, tell me what you guys think, things that I could have done better. Um, you know, if you guys learned something, let me know that as well. But either way, um, as soon as something else happens, uh, as soon as I figure out what I'm going to grow next, we'll see you guys then and see what's growing on next time.